Welcome back. Today we're going to deal with how to adjust the camera settings, the environment settings, and some of other additional tabs in, before moving to material assignment and environment uh, adjustment. First, the perspective camera. The name of the camera's perspective, you can choose another camera, front, side, top, by selecting different views. Move to the camera, we check tech on the dolly zone, and the focal lens, we prefer to do it 35 milli, in order to get the best uh, field of vision. Okay. And then, the environment, you can create skylight it will take time because of performance issue skylight you can choose any part of the world it will change the position of the sun light and the degree of You can choose different part of the world. It will change the position and amount of light in the uh, skylight environment, but it takes some time. As you see, the light was coming from here. Now it's coming from here. Okay. Now we're gonna move back to studio. In the same graph environment, we can activate the studio, and we can assign another HDRI map. From the computer and like this according to the resolution of the map and the quality it can gives you a uh, better rendering and this is a crucial point in the rendering in VRED the environment can make high quality reflections on the surface give you a more realistic view Okay, and here we can click shift, hold shift and click on the environment and we can scale it in different directions in order to get the map more realistic. can move it up, down, control Z to redo, undo, okay. The scaling can make some distortion in the map, so you can adjust according to the preference and the angle view in order to get the best result, it's depending upon visualization only. There is no certain parameter in the uh, in the uh, environment settings. Only depends on visualization. So you can get like this. Okay. There is only one tab. There is also one more tab in the environment, as in the, in the material editor can select the environment and change the size of the uh, environment uh, can select like 3000 so enlarge the environment and make it more easier to modify without distortion the map As you see, it's very big, so we're gonna make it like 2000. Now seems better. Let's 
so can also rotate the environment One more tab, in these settings we can change, choose the vertex face normal rendering. As we see the green me meaning that the vertices facing the camera and uh, the blue one meaning that the vertices is uh, op opposite uh, direction to the camera. So in the advanced or detailed user interface in the scene menu I'm going to choose Geometry Editor and select the blue area and choose Phase and Vertex. It will transform into green. This can affect the quality of shading. Okay. So I'm going to choose each one and reverse the directions of the vertices. In order to face the camera, here also. Now we got all green, so it's got to go. So in the view, in the visualization, choose realistic rendering. So back to the default scene. Well, this finishes our second part of the VRED rendering tips dealing with camera settings, environment, and some additional tips. Next video, gonna review how to deal with shading material and have true light shaders.